क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फिक्सड चार्ज लेयर एंड द डिफ्यूज लेयर Having opposite charges is known as student. This is known as zeta potential. Zeta potential is the potential difference between the fixed charged layer and the diffused layer having opposite charges. That means the correct answer is option number three. Moving to the next question, which is question number seventy-two. Let's read it. The number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in Phosphorus with three minus charge, atomic number fifteen and mass number thirty-one respectively are. So, student, first of all, we are given with phosphorus, and the mass number and atomic number is already given, and the charge on phosphorus ion is also given, which is three minus. We know that number of protons. We know that number of protons is equals to atomic number, which is equals to fifteen. Then number of neutrons. Is equals to mass number minus atomic number, mass number minus atomic number. Mass number is thirty one, so thirty one minus atomic number is fifteen, which is equals to sixteen. Now, students, we can calculate number of electrons. Number of electrons is equals to atomic number. Plus, since we are given with negative charge, so we have to add three. So total number of electrons will be eighteen. And if there is any positive charge, for example, if it's given Na plus or Mg two plus, then we have to subtract the charge from the atomic number to calculate the number of electrons. But here, number of protons fifteen, number of neutrons sixteen, and number of electrons eighteen. That means the correct answer is option number two. This is one of the easiest question, I guess. So, moving to the next question, which is question number seventy-three. Identify the correct statements from the following. Number one, solid CO is known as dry gas. Student, this is an incorrect statement. As solid carbon dioxide, that is CO two, is known as a dry gas. Moving to next, the structure of C sixty contains twenty-six carbon rings and twelve five carbon rings. Student, this is a correct statement. As C sixty is Buckminster Fullerene, which contains twenty hexagonal rings. That is six-membered rings and twelve pentagonal rings. That is twelve five-membered rings. Moving to the next, hydrated zeolite are used as an ion exchanger in softening of hard water. Correct statement. Moving to last, CO two is colorless and odorless gas. Again, a correct statement. That means statement B, C, and D are correct statements. So the correct answer is option number four. Moving. To the next question, which is question number seventy-four. Let's read it. An element has a face-centered cubic, that is FCC structure, with a cell edge of two hundred picometer. The atomic radius is. Student, for this question, first of all, we need to know the relation between the edge length and the radius of FCC unit cell. You don't have to calculate during the exam. You people need to learn the relation for FCC, BCC, and simple cubic. The relation between the edge length and the radius of atom, right? So, for FCC, here I'm writing edge length is equals to two root two r. Here we have to calculate the value of atomic radius. So, radius is equals to a upon two root two. Since the value of edge length is two hundred picometer, so radius will be one upon Two root two into two hundred picometer. That means the correct answer is option number three. Moving to the next question, which is question number seventy-five. Let's read it. Thin layer chromatography is another type of student. Before starting this question, we have to understand that chromatography are of basically two types. one is adsorption chromatography and the other is partition chromatography adsorption chromatography are of two types one is thin layer chromatography
and one is column chromatography. Also, paper chromatography is an example of partition chromatography. So, it is very clear that thin layer chromatography is another type of adsorption chromatography. That means the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to the next question. <laughs>